Hi, it's me, Burbingish, and welcome to the finale of the Meat Lord progression. This episode, we're probably going to be getting the last pieces of uh, Meat Lord's armor, like the Grand Boots, the Grand Pauldrons. However, I'm pretty sure the Grand Boots I'm going to have to go down to the depths for, which is inconvenient. Grand Pauldrons I get from Duke, which is why I'm at Etrus right now. I'm going to go sell some... I actually, no, I have enough notes. I'm going to go buy some wood from uh, the blacksmith, and then I'm going to go turn it into the guy, and then get like a bunch of Etrus rep. After that, I'm probably gonna get some. I'm gonna probably gonna finish up my tacit progression, and I can screw around at a hive or something and just appear behind people. I might even go sell them some mushroom bisque, biscuits, whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot they don't like me yet. Hold on. If I'm seen as like a war criminal to these guys, why does that guy just willingly accept firewood from me? Oh, yep, yep. I was like, hmm, I thought I saw like a little black like figure outside the window. Alright, here we go. Come on, how'd you find me? Alright, so it's actually the next day right now. I have to go do something. Uh, Yeah, so I'm still trying to give them wood and they're still being ungrateful about it. So I'm just going to throw this Etrus card right here and uh, just go for it. Alright, now tell me if this is enough to please Etria. Let me just drop you off right here. Okay, good, he didn't fall off. Are you guys cool with me now? Oh, finally. Now I can actually just, you know, do this peacefully without having to, like, fist fight off like a couple guards every day. Alright, come on, please. Let's go! Alright, I can finally do this stupid quest and uh, get the key. Alright, audience acquired. It's funny how like from one second to like where you're just talking with Kenneth, right? Boom, he's just dead and teleported all the way over there somehow. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to take time to actually figure out the quest. But uh, you know, we've done this enough times to know where everything is. Yeah. There we go. Alright, here we go. Manor key. And now we just teleport to Aresia. Alright guys, we're headed towards Lower Aresia right now. And uh, the sudden jump cut, you might be like, Man, weren't you, just, uh, weren't you just taking the hive teleport here? And I would just like to say, don't worry about that. And also, never screw up the hive guards. Uh, well, that really doesn't matter. Uh, we're here at, at uh, Lower Aresia now, and I can actually go do Duke. But yeah, seriously, do not screw with the Hive Guards, dude. They're gonna drop like a Titan on you, they're gonna have like 500 HP. I'm convinced like the Guards actually have more HP than the Golem, it's stupid. Alright, so actually, before doing Duke, I wanted to come to the Depths and get my Grand Boots. It was totally not because I screwed up. Uh... <laughs> okay, well anyways, I'm gonna try and find some mobs that I can kill. And hopefully they don't become too overwhelming to the point where I wipe this build. So yeah. Also, if you are enjoying the video so far, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. I'm uh, aiming for a 10k before layer 2 drops. Well, I mean, to be fair, I don't think I would mind too much if uh, layer 2 dropped before I hit 10k, but eh, you know. Alright, let's kill this lionfish right here. Come on, what the... It was- that was not my fault, you ran into that one. Uh, Knight's Home Willing Knife, no, nothing that I need. But now I can level up real quick. Ooh, Ash Lamb. So the strength requirement was 30. A bunch of people said it was 40 and it got changed, but apparently not then. Yeah, that's good. The only thing that I can't fight probably would be like uh, corrupted owls and mama freshers. So let's hope I don't run into any of those. Maybe it would have been a smart idea to get like acid before coming down here. Whoa, what does the guy want? Huh? This guy's probably level one, so he can get out scoff free. So yeah, I might as well just show him how to get out. Ooh, bag. Purple Megalodon co-op? Don't mind if I do. Huh? Where, where, where'd he go? 
Hello? What's that noise? Oh, I think he got spotted by an angel. Hold on. He's about to get wiped, dude. Yep. There he is. You know, it's rare seeing new players in Deepoken. So I might as well just help him out a little. Alright. Uh, Can he get up there? Alright, alright. So I'm gonna flame leap. Come on. Oh. I'm gonna get him up the wall real quick and uh, see. Wait, no, dude. Why does doing flame leap drop the person you're carrying? I think I'm gonna need barrels for this. Good thing there is a surplus of barrels here. Put that right there. There we go. Now you just climb up. Uh, where do you go? Oh, he fell down. All right, all right. Okay, here I'll I'll, I'll just get him up there. All right. I really hope I have warriors respite. All right, let's hope let's hope he doesn't just get ganked somehow. He's level one, so he should be fine getting out of the depths. But now I actually have to get out here myself and kill some mobs. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that actually. I ah. I never thought about it. Five minutes later. Let me just worry respite up and then I can uh, start killing some of these lionfishes. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why the server is so empty, this is uh, the content creator private server. So that means I'm not going to get ganked by like a bunch of level 60s. Alright, let's get this lionfish. What is, he, what is he even shooting at there? So there's no players to be shot at. Another lionfish? There's two? Ow. I really need to work on my timing. Nope, nothing that I need. Good thing there's more, more lion fishes. All right, come on, die already. Still nothing that I need. Ooh, there's another lion fish. Huh? I'm guessing because like there's no players in here, everything just spawns where I am because you know there's no limit. Come on. Okay, this is gonna take a second. Alright, I still gotta find this stupid uh, grand boots that I'm looking for. There's a crab right above my head, but uh, every almost every ledge is a crab cheese, so I, I'm pretty sure I can just find one, right? Hello, jellyfish. Ow. Okay, so I can't fight both of them at once. It's gonna be bad for me if I do. Let me just... Let's fight this fresher first. Or not. Yeah, so far I'm liking Ash Slime, it's really good. I can deal with you. By the way, to fight jellyfishes is 4 M1s and block. Or, well I mean, preferably dodge actually, you can get block broken. Hell morning, uh, still nothing that I need. I'm getting some blue around my screen, so I might want to be like out of here quickly. I have to be careful because a lot of things could spawn in here because there's no other spawns around the map. As soon as I see another mob, I'm out. Oh, hello, diver. Thank you. Don't know why that didn't do any damage. Grand boots, come on. Nope. Not getting Blade Dancer is really bad for PvE, so... Surprisingly, it's not a big difference in PvP. Oh, Grand Boots. Got it. This is significantly worse than the boots I already- Oh, it has an owl. This is significantly worse than the boots I already have, but it's for the Meat Lord, so... Alright. That's all I wanted from the depths. Time to get out of here. I might want to hit the Summer Isles and then uh, smelt my Star Boots onto my Grand Boots so that I can get actually good stats. Because 5 HP is not going to cut it. Alright, we're back in the overworld now. Let's see if this server I can do duke in. Where's my key? Uh, oh, here it is. Nope, I cannot do that in this server. But uh, I guess I'll just get to get to duke's laboratory first and now server hop. I'm pretty sure I set a checkpoint right before I, uh, you know, unfortunately blue screened. So. Oh, yeah. Set checkpoint right here because I don't know why. 
Why did I set a checkpoint here out of all places? I'm gonna be using uh, Way of Navai for Duke because it's considerably easier to block break people with Way of Navai than it is just Karita. Plus, I have a Legion Cesta, so it's gonna do more damage. Oh, that was good. I like that. That was actually really satisfying to do. Huh. You know, the golem looks a little more menacing than before. Yeah, I never really noticed this, but like, it's like pitch black and red eyes. Like something straight out of aisles. Since this build is actually really squishy, I'm gonna have to be really careful fighting Duke. I don't know how people get these like such high HP builds. And also, where, where's this last guy? Does burning the minions not count as me actually killing them? You know, I think this server's just kind of broken. Let me just hop. Five minutes later. We're back to where we were before, and now we can actually do Duke. Hopefully he gives us the Grand Pauldrons early on, but I'm probably going to do Duke a lot anyways for my bell. Alright, let's go. <laughs> ah. Hate that stupid move. My Cessus is cooler than yours, Duke. What are you going to do about it? Imagine having a stupid iron cestus. What a bozo. What? Yo, it's just like heavy weapons. Bad part is I keep setting myself on fire every time I flourish him. What? Huh. Wait, look. I just killed the servant inside of the tube. What is that? Why is there like pinkish ice blocks in the middle? I guess it's gone now. I wonder if I can get a servant to hit his own counter, that would be funny. Okay, this is a little bit of close for comfort here, Duke. Ow. Alright, at least I'm out of there. Oh. Yo, I just flourish stacked reinforced, dude. Alright, and that's Duke done. Huh. How come I got Ardor Manifestation first try on this one? And not on my Archmage one? Uh, do I really need to pick all this up? No, not really. Nope, no Grand Pauldrons. Even though we have the Ardor Manifestation, uh, I'm probably not gonna do Kaido because I need a Tacit first. And, uh, you know, if it's kind of screws up and I accidentally get Ardor, that's gonna suck. Honestly, I kind of love doing the shield phase of Duke. It's really satisfying. He's just like, boing, 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 boing. Ow. That part is not so fun, though. There we go. That's Duke dead. Let me get out of here. Grand Pauldrons, there we go. Alright, that's the thing I needed. Didn't see the stats on it though, let me check. Holy crap, that has got to be the worst stats I've ever seen. I need to visit, like... I really do need to visit, uh, Summer Isles, dude. But hold on, let me just... Whoops, that's the wrong Pauldrons. Uh, where is this? Grand Pauldrons. Yeah, I'm like the- wait. Now I'm like the meat lord. Yeah, now just pretend my hands are like, uh, blue, right? And my helmet is not black. And then now I'm meat lord. Mm-hmm. I really wish they would give us the gray version just for this progression. Oh yeah, and also I forgot, to, uh, to level real quick. Let's see what I get. Alright, that's- that's- that's good. But, uh, this is also- wait, let me see. Oh, that is also really good. I'm freezing that and I'm gonna take grand support. I'm gonna keep reinforced at level 1 because, uh, you know, the Agamatsu video where, uh, you know, I get the low healing from the grand support and all that. So yeah, I'm gonna head to Summer Isles real quick. Oh, well that's just bad manners to leave your boat like that, but, uh, I mean, hey. Yeah, you know what, sure, we can trade boats. I hope that guy doesn't break my bow too hard, because that would be, you know, bad. And I really do not have the notes to spare right now. Ah, crap, I was tabbed off. Is this Summer Isles or not? Alright. 
were here, I think. And uh, I'm probably gonna have to sell a bunch of this stuff just so I can smell two pieces of equipment. Like, honestly, we're kind of getting, like, scammed by this Jarvis guy. 1k notes for a smelt. Like, at best, that's 500 notes, dude. Do they hate me, by the way? I don't remember. Didn't I pay off my rep with them one time in, like, the first episode? Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, that should be enough for me to get scammed by Jarvis. I have no flint, I just realized. Okay, hold on. You know what, instead of buying flint from these lucrative, like, salesmen, I'm just gonna go get my own flint. How about that? Okay, maybe I will... Do you guys sell pickaxes by any chance? Okay. Okay, that's probably a smart choice, not, like, selling pickaxes for people to mine your coal with. Alright, there we go. I have a adequate amount of HP now. Uh, still not breaking 400. Uh, doesn't matter. Alright, we're here to check my bell type real quick. Alright, let's see what this guy tells us. Uh, none of your business. Oh, come on! Oh, hey, an owl. I don't know if I an owl. Hello? Where's the trigger zone? Oh well. I don't know what's up with um, owl spawns and sometimes just not triggering, but sure. All right, I'm back for another Duke. Uh, you guys ever just realized what like what what is Duke doing in here, dude? Like, yeah, I know he got all these like fancy tubes and all, but nobody just chills in a boss arena. There's no desk. There's no chairs. Does he just sit around on the floor? I don't know. This guy is weird, dude. What the hell? Rare example of Duke actually parrying? Ow. Alright, watch this strat. I'm going to, like, lure him into his long range mode. To the point where he spawns in a minion so that I can actually get my health in. There we go. Come on, please die. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Come on. Let's go! Dude, that was so close. That was so close. I'm still not done yet, though. Yo, can you stupid servants chill out? Chill out. Oh my god. I'm getting put in the damn mosh pit. Holy crap. Thank you, Duke. You know, for once, I actually in I actually appreciate you using that move. There we go. Uh, that's our third Duke, I'm pretty sure. Two hours later. Okay, so I may have went AFK watching like a YouTube video, and uh, some guy killed me. So I'm just gonna go run it back real quick. All right, hi, it's me. I'm uh, Burbingish. That's editing. We're here for an instant replay right here. As you can see, it seems like that uh. This freshie, right, is he attacked me, and then this other guy with like the red hair just starts attacking the freshie to get him off me, and then I proceed to fall off into the water and die. So I'm not so sure what happened here, but uh, I mean, hey, I guess he tried. He tried to help me. Five minutes later. Uh, <laughs> bro, that that's kind of that's kind of awkward, bro. I was too. I was just AFK. I was like, damn, what's what's happened? I'm gonna go upgrade my flame mantras because, you know, I just got rising flame and I also need to upgrade ash slam, which is one of my best moves, I'm pretty sure. 11 minutes later. Oh, what the hell? The void eye goes across servers? Alright, hold on. I got DM arc about this, bruh. There is no way. There is no way the void eye is supposed to have this long of a cooldown. Like, look at this. Oh my god, bruh. Alright, screw this. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just gonna reset. Man, stupid Void Eye and not letting me go back. I'm gonna have to- I just wasted my reset for no reason. Alright, while I'm here, let me just upgrade my Rising Flame and see if I can make it any bigger. Right here, two Shadow Stones. 
Yep, that's definitely bigger. Oh my god, my mon my like ether bar is gone, dude. I need that I need that talent, bro. I need that talent that makes it so that whenever I'm on fire, it just takes less ether. Ooh. That was slick. Yo, I'm styling on Duke right now. Alright, hold on. I'm styling on him right now, bro. Look at this. Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? I'm T-posing. I mean, I'm no posing, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah, and also I forgot to level up while I was in there, so let me just do that real quick. Ooh, seven cards. Hey, where- Didn't I, like, freeze a card? Where'd it go? And also, yeah, this is really good. Hold on. Because I'm gonna be on fire most of the time, which is good. And uh, I'll just be able to proc that for extra damage. But where did my other card go? I'm probably gonna do some, like, check up on my Tacit real quick and uh, do some bounties if I need to. I feel like I should uh, start practicing, you know, speaking more clearly because sometimes I stumble over my work. Wait, what, do I have Animal King? Because sometimes I, like, stumble over my words and it's just, you know, not very good for recordings when people are trying to understand what I'm saying. You wanna know what would be cool? Imagine, right, there's, like, Instead of having to hop across this, because, you know, that's lame. Imagine there was, like, a little raft at the start of there. And then you can actually, like, take the raft across. Like, you would, like, a like a dinghy. That would be kind of cool. And, uh, you know, make that not just the best strat where you just, like, ha, ha, ha. Why are there so many mud skippers here? I'm pretty sure people live here, right? Why don't they just like clear them out once in a while? Alright, let's see. Okay, so that's a no then. I need to do more bounties. Alright, I guess uh I guess I'll go do more bounties then. Oh, alright. Two hours later. Alright. Let's see if I can get any actual bounties here last few servers i've been in none of them were valid even though i had like 18 of them okay two let's see huh all right temple of the blade so this one's at yeah right there at vigils with how close i spawned in he should have heard that oh hello this is wolf that that was a ledge i did not expect that uh, I'm just gonna assume he went over here. NV Zaniki. Nope, you're not on the list. He was wearing a royal pathfinder, I think, from the silhouette I saw. So maybe he's... I don't know, by the... I don't know why he would be over there, but uh, wait. Yep, that's him. Bro is disconnecting, bro. What is this? He's a straight up disconnecting. <laughs> Alright, come here. What the? What is this guy's, like, internet, bro? You need to get better internet. Alright, that's him down. Come here. All right, let's see if I can get him real quick. Come back. Just Korea Flame One B One. My bad. My bad, Vigil Guard. I didn't mean to do that. Come on. Yeah, the pressure's on now. You gotta save your friend, man. Yep, there's my bounty. What? Why didn't it count? Was his internet so bad that- What? What was that? His internet was so bad, it didn't even count as me getting the bounty? Okay, that was just kind of stupid. Alright, let's see if I can actually get a successful bounty this time without 
that guy just disconnecting for it. What the hell? There's so many people at Lower Rezio. What is this? Apparently, they all belong to this Koji guild. All four of these guys are my bounties, so if I actually like pull this off, it will be a lot for me. And I could probably get tacit. Yep. Found one. I think I think these guys are what the Oh, he's already dead. Uh-huh. Yoink. Ooh, six star damage. More freshies. I don't know why they let me do this, but Hey guys, uh, I, I need Tacit, I'm sorry man. What? Oh, this guy is decent level. Oh, why is he so fast? He is so fast, dude, what the hell? That guy's trying to kill my bounty, actually, I don't mind that, you can go, go ahead. That's another bounty. Uh, don't know- I don't even know what's going on anymore. So I have this freshie that's helping me apparently? I don't know. I'm kinda confused here. And the, uh, the other freshie is back? What's going on? Well, I'm getting, getting screwed up, dude. Why is this guy so fast? Alright, I'm dead. Didn't they fix it where, like, if you block a Gale kick, it doesn't, like, you know, make it so that it procs? Oh, well, whatever. That's one bounty down. Uh, like, I don't know how many to go. Five minutes later. Yeah, that guy was like incredibly fast, dude. I'm just gonna hope he's by... Oh yeah, I can actually upgrade my mantras while I'm here. Wait, what? Oh, he's down there. Alright, I'll just kill him and then I'll go upgrade my mantras. Oh, I think he's over there. I like the boat. I feel like a fun, like, fun version of Furiosity would be like if they could both see each other. And then, you know, it's like the highlights always on because that would actually be pretty intense and you get like put in danger whenever that happens and it'll make an actual distinction between stealth and ferocity. All right, hold on. I'm going to tactically walk away from the location I think he is and then see if that uh, lets me see him. Why? Why is it not showing up? Oh, yep. There he is. You see, this is like 200 IQ plays. I, wait, I think he's in the cave system. Yeah, I think he, I think he's actually in the cave system. Two hours later. I'm beginning to think he isn't in the cave system. Oh, there you are. Finally. That took so long to find you, bruh. Come here. Man, that hitbox looks so big and is actually trash. Come here. There's no running. I just, I, I don't think he heard what I just said. Well, I mean that's fair considering I'm, I don't have voice chat. Come back. Ow. Come here. All right. I wonder what level that guy was. Oh well. Uh, ooh, Flame Keeper says this. Alright, I might actually use uh, Way of Navai because, you know, 2 star damage, that's kinda nice. Alright, let's see how much damage I do. 26 damage, not bad, not bad. Oh, this is the thing I wanted. Impervious Slumber, yeah, that's cool and all, but this is actually really good. Uh, I might want to flame within, but, eh, sure, I'll freeze it for now. Impervious slumber, that can come later, and I don't, I don't plan to be downed anyways, so, that's like planning to lose. 
Damn, that guy is far away. Actually, not as far away as usual. I play with very low sound, so if like a void walker came after me, I would have zero clue, dude. Wait, hold on. Let me test this. It says I take, I have like 70% less. Ooh, yeah, that's really. Okay, so it, it says that when I'm on fire, it takes 70% less ether, and I just tested it, and that's really 70% less. I can actually use Rising Flame now, and also, get over here. Come here. Bonk, bonk. Oh yeah, I was like, hmm, did I use my crit? And I was like, hmm, nah, Just Karita crit isn't all that good, and I remembered, I'm not using Just Karita, what am I doing? Yeah, just create a crit is kind of goofy, bruh. I don't really like it all that much. Come here. Oh, this guy is reinforced. Yeah, I don't think this guy's like average level, like average lower Rezia level. He has like an Imperial boots, all that. Where, where's he going? Come back. Yeah, he can block, parry, and dodge. He doesn't seem to have a lot of mantras, though. Is he going a two minless, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, he's going a two minless. Alright, GG's. And while I'm here, I'm at, you know, I'm at uh, this whole lower Aresia thing. I might as well go check if I have asset and then. If I do have Tacit, I can go down to the depths and a bell check after. Actually, I can just uh, go down to the depths with 1v1s if I, you know, lose and die. Yo, bro. They are like. You guys need to chill out, dude. This guy's already, like, down on the floor. You guys. Oh my god. No, no Adam Smut Skipper. This is the most, like, scary foe in all of Deep Woken. Alright. Do I have Tacit now? Hey, I got Tacit. Alright, alright, let me try this out. Let me try this out. Yeah. Alright, this is nice. This is actually the first time I got tasted. The other times I was like, man, this I'm too lazy to do this. And I just want to kill Kaido instead. But uh, I'm going to go into some 1v1s and get sent to death so I can bell check. And if I do win some 1v1s, you know, that's extra bell progress for me. Goofy meat lord. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this is a pretty goofy build. Dive got a nerf on the range, so he might be like, you know, kind of suffering from that. GG's. You're, listen, man. Sorry, sorry to inform, but I am not Nano Prodigy. Fire Palm. I'm pretty sure I canceled, like, the damage from that, which is why I didn't, you know, take anything from the fire eruptions, which is nice. Oh my god, that took a whole half bar. What was that? Is, is he running dual dragoons? What is this? Yeah, he's running dual dragoons, dude. Who does that? <laughs> this guy just keeps backing up. What is this? Come back. Alright, come on. You can't just back away from everything. Oh, wow. Wow, he was really squishy. Alright, let's go. Ow. I missed the combo. Yo. Yo, chill out. You have no animations. Ow. Please hit me with more of your lightning moves. I need, like, the ether back. I have a light eater ring, so... Ow. Sure. That'll work. Oh, that is so close. I was just getting, like, range abused on... All right, since I got tired of uh, just winning 1v1s, no, <laughs> not the flux, uh, well, anyways, I'm going to be going into 2v2s with randoms and uh, see if that, you know, sends me to the depths, sen sends me to the depths quicker. All right, first teammate, I got a hollow tide Etrian with Black Diver, and he has enchants and whatnot, so this guy seems to be good. All right. I hope my teammate can take take the other guy on his own, but if I need to, I'm probably gonna have to like... Okay, I'm selling. Yo, why am I like, not parrying? 
Oh, I'm in Washington. All right, I thought I was in Cali. I'm gonna have to like parry way earlier to anticipate for like, I don't know, like the 150 I'm probably on. All right, come on. Okay, my teammate's dead, so I kind of lost this game. Ow, GG's. Yeah, I forgot going to like 2v2s, I get my like... Wow, okay. Very nice. Alright, uh, we're in an actual match now. It took way too long, I had to like... You know. But uh, well anyways, this is a California server, so I might actually win this one, which is nice. Alright, come here. What? What the hell, we're swapping opponents? Okay, this is probably a dumb idea, running in with like no HP whatsoever. Yep. <laughs> okay, I kinda sold for my teammate there. Five minutes later. Yeah, but uh, you know... Oh no way, he actually... Okay, he actually won, so that means I'm not dying and crap. Alright, we're in another match of 2v2s, I swear this time I'll do a little better. Uh... Okay, good. That was not my teammate. I saw someone like disappear from the list and I was like, oh crap. I, I guess they're 1v1ing. Alright, uh. Seamless transition. Ooh. Man, I just want to go to the depths. I'm not even like. I'm not even doing all that anymore. Alright, my teammate's on his last legs right now. Alright, my turn. Sorry, teammate, but uh. I had to respect the ones, you know. I just tried a Gale lunge, bro. I'm, I'm played too much Gale. This guy should have like a bunch of HP from uh, the Reaper he got, so I'm gonna have to like fight a long time. Unless I can pull this off. Uh, I thought I was gonna be able to knock him in the storm and then he'll take like a bunch of damage. Good game. Alright, we're in the depths now. Uh, I'm just gonna get into the city and bell check so that I don't get gripped by a bunch of mobs. Ooh, hey, a mob. This should be the last one, right? Yep, there's bell. Nice. What did we get? Gar of Souls, Reaper, or Crazy Slots. Uh, I might take... I'm gonna take Reaper. What the? Oh, it's the throne variant. Damn, that is such a small reaper area. Alright, let's check the reroll. Damn, this sucks. Alright, I'm getting a reaper again. Oh, let's go. The good variant. Alright, so we're just gonna have like reaper as meat lord maybe maybe he'll do some uh ganking i don't know all right this is probably gonna be the end of the meat lord progression but wait you're probably like he's not even level 60 yet and to be fair last level i had to kill like two dukes just for this and i'm still like training locked so yeah i'm not gonna do like another 12 dukes just to finish up my last couple levels i'm pretty sure anybody can understand nobody wants to go through that pain so yeah, if you enjoyed this progression, please subscribe and uh, yeah, I'll see you next video.